if we have Jesus as Lord of our lives, everything we need will be ours. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, when we visit some wonderful places with greenery, with natural beauty, with rivers flowing, with birds chirping, with good weather, with peaceful and calm ambience, we exclaim, this place is a heaven on earth. Every time somebody acts out of love, there is God's kingdom. Where there is justice, no matter how small, there is God's kingdom. Where there is beauty, there is God's kingdom. We need to ask ourselves, how do I see the world around me? Yes, there is pain and suffering, but can I also see God's activity? Pharisees asked when the kingdom of God was coming. Our Lord answers that the kingdom of God will not come with observation. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. That is, it rests with you and your own hearts to receive it. Commenting on this, Cyril of Alexandria says, For every man who is justified by faith and the grace of God and adorned with virtues may obtain the kingdom of heaven. To experience the kingdom of God among us, we need not see great signs and miracles, but we need to follow the teachings of Christ, need to practice the values, experience the love of God and express that same love to our neighbors. People of Jesus' time, Await the coming of the kingdom. Even when the Prince of Peace, Joy and Love was present among them. For us, the death and resurrection of Jesus mean that the kingdom is already within our reach. It is already present through the teaching and healing ministry of Jesus. Wherever we give or receive true love, kindness, gentleness, compassion, generosity, we experience the kingdom. To live in the kingdom, we must hold on to the teaching of Jesus. Seek a first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all will be well. If we have Jesus as Lord of our lives, everything we need will be ours. This is not to say that we will go through life without pain or hardship, but we will go through life with Jesus at our side to guide and protect us and help us on our way. A couple of good words, an hour spent in the presence of the Lord, little time spent quietly, soul-soothing devotional hymns could make us feel the kingdom of God amidst our suffering and pain. Therefore, may our prayer be today, Lord, let me be quiet and still so that I may find you and help me to see your active hand in my life and free me from my blindness. <music>